What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're gonna do a huge Giganticus Conjure Trickster deck. So the thing I kind of built this deck around is space time. If you have this on the field and you play Thinking Cap, these two uh, little superpowers, instead of costing one, are gonna cost zero and you can play them immediately. So really, for four costs, not only are you getting around five on average, let's say like a two cost superpower, a three cost superpower, the ultimate abilities are kind of like three cost cards. That's approximately what they are supposed to be worth. Uh, you're also going to be, you know, charging your trickster three times. This becomes, uh, this costs less every single time you play a trick. I think we're just going to sort of be playing this deck slowly. You can sort of set up the buried treasure. This is really good synergy with space time. Um, you will be able to get a legendary that costs two less. Sometimes you can play a really late game card uh, quite early. This also just buffs the raptor right when you play it. So you can sort of play your raptor onto this, it'll be a 4-4 on turn 3. You can also teleport your raptor in uh, onto one of these, for example. Then the raptor will definitely hit face. The raptor does conjure you a small card, so that synergy with space-time, that card will cost uh, even, even less. We have beam me up, we have some removal, we have some deadly. Um, let's see how good this deck is at controlling opponents. You're si kind of like controlling them, but you're also like able to set up your own tempo early. like. Space Times and Raptors, if they don't deal with these early, they're going to be in trouble. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. We can definitely make some additions and subtractions if needed. A card I kind of wanted, I was fiddling around with Paparazzi, but I just don't know if he's going to be consistent enough. Maybe it would be good in this deck. The other card is Trigger Treater. Maybe if we ran Trigger Treater, then it would make Paparazzi worth it. I could get rid of the buried treasures. Let's see how this deck does. Uh, we are going to do bets. Of course, the bets are, as always, subject to change. I can change the deck in the middle. I'll try to at least keep half the deck the same. Uh, if you think this deck will go at least 8 and 2, vote yes. And if not, vote no. The voting starts right now. These are at the live streams, twitch.tv forward slash Frima. Obviously, if you're watching this as a YouTube video, um, this already happened a long time ago. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, this hand looks... Dandy indeed. I don't even know if I mulligan for a trickster when I have a hand. I could I could I could do a lot with this hand right here, man. I might even play this on one. Getting your well, you know what? I'm gonna save this. It will play around a spike weed sector or a Venus flytrap or whatever the garbage he plays. I'm gonna play this dry. We can just get some guaranteed teleports, which if we get a trickster, getting a bunch of free teleports can be a wow, we didn't have anything? Come on, man. So I'm definitely going to play st uh, second space time. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> Look at this card. Heck yeah. Uh, so we'll stick this between the two space times. Look at just the tempo we have. We even have like bonus attacks and smoke bombs if we need it. Best case scenario is him playing an environment there. I will definitely get some free teleports. We're also still conjuring, which is so nice. We also now have teleports. Um. Yeah, just, <laughs> did this box this turn four already? Uh, so just develop binary stars, because why the hell not? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's so good on four, man. Uh, it's a 3-3? Three, three? I don't know. It's like clearing my field. Primal Potato Pie. Bruh. Uh, I might do some nutty things with the binary stars. If he can't remove this, I'm just gonna like smoke bomb and bonus attack for 8 and then 8. They can do like 16 here. Kind of crazy. We're going for all tricks. Hopefully he doesn't remove this. He has a lot of... Yes! Oh my gosh, do we got... Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a piece of toast. This is... This is so much damage, man. Let's see what happens on the block. We roll a three. I might not commit this one. I mean, this is eight. This will be at least four. This is usually lethal still. Uh, I'll just do it. It also gives us a teleport for next turn, so. That is so good, though. Come on. Don't Cali roll me. Don't Cali. Oh my gosh. For real, bro. For real. Come on, man. 
We had him. We had him, bro. Okay. Smoke? Are you high? He's just conceding. That's all he's doing. I have so many teleports. Oh my gosh, he's so stupid, bro. <laughs> stupid. Can I get something that's better than a beam me up here? There's a raptor. Yes, lethal. Lethal. Yes! <laughs> With the teleports and everything. <laughs> Always teleport them right in the face. Right in the face. That's right, bro. Nice cute. Next time, keep it to Oh my gosh, that was harsh. That was harsh. Stupid walnut. Why did I not move the binary? Oh, you're right. I should have moved the binary stars to lane two. I, I thought, like, if it dies, I want the one to be on the left. But you're right. Binary stars should have totally went to two. Misplay. And then just beam me up in lane three. And then if he blocks, so then we'll still be doing more damage. Bro, we'll be down to one at least. <laughs> I should probably put that in the highlight comp. Is that a highlight or a fail? That whole sequence was amazing. Incredible. Let's go. Let's go. That will be a highlight. But then the fail comp actually. Um it's awfully good. Oh boy, we even got a one drop. Yeah. Uh he did not show us the superpower, so we're gonna play the space time here. If he actually weeds whack weed wax this, uh we can reactivate it. That's a really good thinking cap. We're gonna have two space times. Two yeah, two space times, so he's not gonna be able to deal with both. There's a berry blast, sad indeed. So he uses two drop deal with my one drop. Now my two drop is still on the field, unscathed. Conjures OP cards. Let's go. <laughs> Yay. I should probably just go for this. This is really good. A good as good of a buried treasure. He's not gonna be able to deal with both anyway, so. That's a one cost cowboy. We actually have like cow teleport cowboy smoke bomb for three. Jeez. Okay. I'm probably just gonna think Oh my gosh, we have so many things we could do. I could just dry Supernova Guard, why not? So here's another double doubly nerfed card. Garbage. Uh, my stream is not lagging, so you gotta turn down your resolution if you're lagging. Man, lagging. Okay, well, we'll the thinking cap, and if somehow, I don't think he can actually remove these. Bruh. What is he doing? It's probably a thinking cap here, right? Or maybe we just take out the only way of him, like, actually winning this game. This is really good. We'll probably have answers in here. If we Like, what are we going to have that's not going to answer? If it's damage, it does. If it's removal, it would have to be, like, Eureka or something like that that doesn't do anything to the field. Healing is also just as good. Yeah, we'll go with it. Come on, Zemek. Huh? 
Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we got some plays. We got some plays. Here we go. <laughs> oh, do we have? Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay. Teleport. Okay. Oh gosh. Look at the plays. Look at the plays, guys. We're gonna give him one of these. Um, I think I'm gonna smoke bomb this one because screw it. I'll take the damage. Why not? Okay, we'll give him one of these. So that's five damage. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was so great. That was so great. I don't care. Wow! Take a freaking highlight thing, are you kidding me? With thinking cap and everything. What was that? <laughs> so this costs zero, huh? <laughs> I want to be able to teleport this in. I think I'm just going to play this for zero. And we'll teleport something. Maybe I should play this here. I didn't have a cowboy play there, did I? If I could have played cowboy, I could have like OTK'd him with this. I forgot about that. Okay. Guys, I, I told you I want to save for Supernova Guard just in case. Get absolutely, completely, ridiculously, nobody even cares. Get that weak stuff out of here, Rex. Go home, pack your bags. It's over, bro. It is over. See you later. Get that weak stuff out of here, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of that time we played Conjure Leap. What is this deck? What is this deck? This is crazy, bro. No, this is not fair. That was one of the best highlights we've had in a long time, man. <laughs> Get that weak stuff out of here, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, whoa. <laughs> Chair him up. I just accidentally hit the button. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's too off. It's the eject button. Why does my chair him up have an eject button? The real real question here, man. <sighs> You're right. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll keep it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys. Guys, how is this fair? Okay, here we go. Please don't have forget me. That's thank you. This is godlike. This is godlike. So we're going to get two le we're going to two space times. We're also going to get two legendaries. One's going to cost one less. Actually, wait, I think I can... Uh, is there a way to... Is there a way to get both space... Well, we can two... Well... Space time? No, there's no way to do it. Right, so here we go. Start off with one of these. Oh, nine cost guard feast. That's nice. I wish that was the one that costs even less, but... Oh, well. Okay. Then we got one cost bounty <laughs> hunter. It's turn two, guys. I don't know. Thank you, Cat Lady, for the win for gifting subs. Heck yeah. Okay. That is fine. And that is fine. I'll probably just smoke bomb that. So we're going to have on turn three, we're going to have... Um, oh, that's Cryo Brain. Nice. Pretty good with the, uh, with the Garg Feast. I think we're going to Garg Feast, guys. Pretty sure. 
You're right, that happens. <laughs> um This always happens. I think we just smoke bomb this one. And call it a day. Yep. This is fun. It's still gaining us a card, so one for one we we draw a card. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, there's a Supernova Garg again. It's just in play. I like plants and zombies. I feel like I'm a little bit more... I get into, like, streaks, though. I feel like right now I'm a little bit more into zombies. Because of this type of stuff. So Thinking Cap's really good. If that, for some reason, doesn't work, then this can be Teleport, Supernova Garg. la dee da dee da a okay. Pretty good. Drinking Violet, but we're still way ahead here. Mr. Sir Scrublord. Okay, now, now we can actually go for the thinking cap. I think thinking it and two and two tricks should be good. We also have the option of like laser base or something like that. The supernova guard strike too. So is that possibility? That's weird. Can I get like an Immortisha bat or something just because we got stupid cat lady? We do have a pet, so this is not dead. This is gonna be fine. Please don't play some kind of anti trick card though. The main thing that would mess us up here is just a really. So, Trickster's gonna be way down. Guys, are you kidding me? That's not, no, this is not okay. This is not even close to okay. How did, oh, whoops, I kind of messed up. Well, eh, we'll be able to, we'll be able to do other things later. I can't believe we called it. I can't believe it! We also got, besides for that, basically the best superpower, period. Like, like at this stage in the game, how, what's better than that, man? That was nuts! That was not okay. So that's another highlight. La di da, pet synergy. <laughs> this cat lady's getting a lot of value. What happened? What do we do here? We use these two. What is it gonna be? Oh man. It's like that. Do we keep that for extra damage? No. Ooh, we're actually getting low in health though. You gotta watch out for that. Yeah, he probably blocks that anyway. Stupid Mars, man. I probably should have smashed. Well, I probably should have smashed this one, right? We're just taking a little too much damage, so. You're right, now this is actually gonna hit us. Oh, it's fine. I don't know if we're going to be able to guard these guys. <laughs> we're growing. Well, we can always bounce it. 
Okay, we can bounce it. We're fine. We can also teleport, teleport Trickster. We'll be okay. <sighs> we'll make the calculated play here. This 8 damage very often just kills him anyway. Okay. <laughs> He's looking for some miracle leaf card that will save him. It's usually just take a nap and we win. Usually. I don't think we're going to have a chance to guard Feast though here. Sorry, guys. No! You dick! Wow. Teleport Trickster. <sighs> well, we can we can Trickster next turn. Nah, we're fine. <laughs> it's guaranteed lethal, right? <laughs> There's no, I mean, if he, he's gonna steal one blot, no, we were, he's done. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this would've worked! Oh, um, the most anti-Trick deck ever, he's running Forget-Me-Nuts and Sporticus, but Trickster just wins, he has five health. Another card, another Trickster! Can we play both of these? This one costs seven, right? Uh, oh well. See ya! Easy wins. He's probably running Brainana too. Sir Scrub Lord. He's probably sniping me with that deck too. He thinks that'll help. Yeah, nice try. What? So what? Bro? <laughs> Did my Wi Fi go down? My stream's still running. Let me check if my Wi Fi is dead. My Wi Fi died. Bro, I'll turn on my mobile data. It works pretty well. Definitely good enough for PvZ heroes. Uh, keep it going. Man, we ain't interrupting this stream. I know, he ruined our guard feast. <laughs> oh, is teleport guard throwing guard lethal last turn? Uh, I think... I forget how much health we have. Beam me ups are decent against this. Yeah, we'll keep one. I think this is fine. Well. Aha! <laughs> Should have kept that teleport. Even if he haunted pumpkins, I'll have I'll be able to play two cards next turn. We'll be able, we'll take four damage and then stabilize. Whee! So, I think I'm gonna play... I mean, this is just... How does he deal with a 4-4? This is not fair. This is completely unfair. Should I play this on the ground? I'm just worried about it getting, like, lawnmowered. Or scorch berry... Okay, I'll play around those cards. This is totally fun. Look how strong this play is. We also get a cheap leggy. That's a playable leggy right there. I think so. Hey, I don't know what's with my, my Wi-Fi lately. It just keeps going out for some reason. I can probably call it the cable company. Alright, so that's four damage on turn two. Conjure a card. Now we have a 6-4 going in, which you just can't again. You'd need the eye spore combo to deal with it. I, we could just win this turn, you know that? <laughs> Man, I wish I had a smoke bomb in my hand. That would be pretty damn good. Berry Blast Plus? So annoying, bro. Lame. Good job, though. Getting another 3-4 on the field. You know what? We still did 4 damage to his face, conjured a card, plus required 2 cards to deal with, so there's our smoke bomb. Man, this goes up to 5. There's a lot of stuff we could do here, man. I'm probably gonna burn this teleport and see what we get. Really, smoke bombing this off is so good because it also gives our next guy a 1 1. So it's gonna be teleport. Smoke bomb. Don't think we bonus quite yet. Well, 
We'll use this to be a good card on Procol Block. We'll like double bonus next turn or something. I think this on Heights, I'm just a little afraid of Q and all that. Usually if you bonus, it doesn't really do extra damage there because the, the five will get blocked. Now the three proc the block. We have a nice thick boy over here. Now we can just like double bonus him and this damage will actually go face. Guess not. Suppose not. Bro. Okay. I guess we'll just keep the damage going. No bonuses yet. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, Smoke Bomb would have been the top deck if he hadn't killed that Raptor. So we'll Smoke Bomb again. It's good value. We don't really have a, um... In fact, Smoke Bomb bonus bonus wins here, because this will have four attack. And if he removes this, then we have it the other way. Sour Grapes. Heal. So annoying. We still have 12. Well, kind of. I should probably go for this. Should I, though? We it, it, Statistically, he blocks here, but we do have 12 damage. Smoke Bomb bonus bonus is 12. I probably should save these. I think I'm in good enough shape. I really just need another minion here, though. I'd like to just get something to cover this right now. It would be really nice. Usually blocks, and then we don't have a way to actually deal four damage to him, especially if he heals again. So we're gonna burn this teleport. Oh. Can I get a card, please? <laughs> Come on, Raptor. There you are. So we'll give him one of these. Give him one of these. That's a lot of damage. Still playing around ground lane stuff. I guess we'll do this now. Because we'll have another minion. Yo, now we usually win. Let's go! Thanks for conjuring. Kinda got low on parts. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Damn it! I guess that was statistic. Statistical. There's button shrooms. <laughs> the swing and the miss. Dang, I hope he doesn't play like Astro. Well, even if he plays Astro, it'll be okay. It's pretty good. We can actually bonus this one. Colonel Corn doesn't really do enough. So between this three damage, three and four wins, this bonus kind of always wins. Play Cornucopia would be useless. Cornucopia Brainana would be fine. <laughs> we'd still be om we'd still almost have lethal. In fact, oh, anyway. Squashy. Who's, who runs Squash? Okay, he needs another Squash to deal with this 4-5 or a lawn or something. Leave me alone. Okay, what turn is this? This is 8. I think we can bonus attack this one and just win in lane 1 now, right? <laughs> oh no, it moves! Nah, uh, it, it goes up to... It, wait. Yeah, we win. <laughs> The trickster anyway won here. It was turn nine next turn, so. Got it. These games have been easy. Let's go. Are we four or five now? I feel like I might have missed a win. Because something good happened. Let me check. We played against. We were one and oh. We played against Wall Knight. We we're one and oh. Then we played against Solar Flare. And then we played against Citron. Citron was three. And then the solar flare was four. We're four now. This game is just taking a long time. Huh? <sighs> Ten and oh with the thing. Let's go. 
<laughs> Why am I ruthlessly murdering button shrimp? We need some minions! Too slow! What am I supposed to do with this garbage? Okay, we might need more minions in this deck. This is not... We really only have four minions. Five if you count Beam Me Up. Beam Me Up doesn't activate buried treasure, though. Maybe Beam Me Up is garbage. Uh, I'm gonna burn this for a minion. Thank you very much. Aha. Legends of Rune Terror went. Eh. Uh, I'll get one of these. I wanna play that in middle. Mustache Monument? I don't know. I think Teleport's better than Mustache here. Mustache only works with the Trickster. It's not really gonna be worth it with Raptor. Bonus attack is way better with Raptor. Teleport's better with Raptor. Mustache not worth it. Uh, that's... What is he, rank 1? Why are we up a Okay, he's rank Okay, you know what. I'm not even counting this. I feel like if the guy is rank 10, I'll always play against him, and maybe if I win, I'll concede, but I don't. Just enjoy your star. Welcome to PvP here. I'm not playing with the rank 1. This game is freaking cracked if you think I'm going to play against I saw that. I didn't even check. I saw a cabbage pole. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Although there is a up-and-coming deck that has cabbage poles and vegetation mutation and some stuff in it. It could be I'll stream that tomorrow. Getting Ellie Broy, 41 months. Man, Ellie Broy. In the top 10 of subs on this channel, that's for sure. 41. Man, been subscribing for years. Almost three and a half now. Crazy. I need a... Oh. 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 Uh... I guess I'll keep this. Ooh! Oh, and see, now if he has, like, a superpower, he's gonna use it, and the space-time is gonna be really hard to deal with. Yes! Yes, he got jabated! This is such... It's just to jabate card so space-time is able to live. Thank you! Thank you very much. I think I'm gonna play this on heights now. I just don't want this to get hit by Spike Weed Sector. Oh my gosh. We can totally back air bounce this. Back air bounce, really, if you're doing it in front of a raptor or a space time, you conjure an extra card from that. So why the hell not? And then we get double superpowers on Forge. Real good. Real solid. Bro, don't be stupid, bro. Idiot, man. Do I just smoke, smoke bomb bonus attack and ignore this now? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Does my space time die next turn? Not necessarily. Usually not, actually. <laughs> Smoke bomb bonus was actually a decent option there. Huh. Okay, now the thinking cap play. I really hope he doesn't have a berry blast, though. We're so done if he. I mean, it were just too slow. Please, 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 please. God damn it. So we can't play these now. We're gonna draw. I I just need some catch up catch up cards. That does not help. Uh -uh. Okay, this plus acid is pretty good here. How do we do this? Three one one. This looks pretty good. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Kinda died anyway. I wonder if the acid rain was worth it. It charged a trickster. It keeps some health up on this. Now this has three health instead of two, which could make a difference. Whoa, double bonus should actually just win here now. Jeez, this is crazy, man.
I gotta go for the double bonus. You can also t smoke bomb bonus. Which is, uh, smoke bomb will bring it to 9, and then it goes to 11 because of the conjure. Could you not? I can't deal with this, man. Oh, there goes that now. Jeez. Okay, well, bonus this one. Ah, the berry blast coming in clutch. Okay, at least we've dealt with that, but he's just drawing too many cards. We're, we're not in good shape here at all, man. Really, really not. I need a block. I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, man. We're so done, guys. What am I supposed to do about that? Okay, so I guess it's three. Well, does this live here? I suppose it does. All right. Star Lord carrying him. The Senate. The Senate for five months. Thank you. See, if this was not buffed, we could have actually gone a night. Who knows what would have happened at that point. Jeez. I mean, we're gonna have to trickster. I guess it's just like this. Maybe I should have played this here, though. Let this proc the block, and then we can get free environment and actually start working on these. Well, I guess I can do it anyway. Well, this actually would have then made a knight, which is pretty good. There's the freeze. Still not optimistic at all. Is there any reason to cover the buried treasure here? This is six, seven, eight. I don't think so. So this always happens. And we can always smoke bomb something if we need to. Bro! It actually does five, so we have to bonus. No! <laughs> okay! Uh, so we have to smoke bomb now. Uh, we lose. It's guaranteed. Come on, man. We didn't do very well in the block second. Yeah. Really, just the card advantage from the Starch Lords kept them kept them ahead here. Which that is, dude. There's no way of surviving here, right? No. No. All right. Born one. It's Greek had to come to an end at some point. I think like a lot of Triceratops and us not getting deadly, I mean even getting back or bounce is sad. Maybe we should have more answers to Triceratops. Uh, I feel like if this was the game also where we got like that smash super from the thinking cap. He just had all the really, I think one fewer berry blast we would have won, right? He had start off with his superpower, and then he had a berry blast to answer the Space time, and then a very blessed answer to the Raptor. That's really what it was about. I think usually we we won <laughs> we win that game and kind of just then he blocked well. Anyway, come on, man. Two tricksters, probably too much. Uh, this looks like a pretty decent hint. We'll have a trickster hint. Yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this gets trickster down to eight. Damn. I'd really like an offensive uh, environment here. That's a little bit weird. Hoo-wee! If we had a teleport in this hand, there would be a little... There's some ramp play. I think I'm still playing this and perhaps Smoke Bomb if he gets into trouble. Him right now, spike weed sector is is actually a good thing. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, 313 people. Well, since we're doing a very highlighty deck, it's also a Sunday. We have 320 people here. Man. Is the smoke bomb worth it? I think it is to conjure a card. It really is just a free card. It also charges our trickster. Which is very nice indeed. This goes heights now. Uh, we just got three cost triplication. I think I'll just use that. <laughs> now, wow, there's the thinking cap too. So if we play three, there was a play with the smoke bomb where we could have played like this entire hand, but it's okay. Rockets instead of bounce for a Triceratops, maybe. Or a laser based alpha, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, it's a 2 3 now. Uh, we gotta go with this, right? <laughs> so we get. Okay, so we got Mime Garg in a deck with Trickster. I really want to set this up now. We also got a free Mini Ninja. We also got a Trick or Treater. These are all so good. What's better, Thinking Cap or Trick or Treater here? <sighs> Look at this. Look at this Mime. <laughs> Uh, just go for Thinking Cap, I guess. Yeah, I don't really need treats. Use Sham Rocket. And I can protect Buff Drum. This is budget guardian package, bro. I'll take double Z-Max Super. It's pretty annoying, actually. Fairly annoying indeed. Uh, I suppose I could get a HG environment from this thinking cap. What's going on with my hair? I need a haircut. Let's make give that man a haircut. So we're going with that. Survey says. Survey says we got garbage. Uh, all right. We're gonna just we're gonna use the deadly with the one cost beam me up snipes turn. Is the is the the plan? I need some. I need like a teleport to set this up though. We'll do, it, guys. Don't worry about it. Here we go. We can actually go two, one. Then we'll have two left. We can go one deadly. Yeah. So I'll, I'll cover this environment since we're using a deadly here anyway. That's <laughs> pretty good. We also have heals. I'm just going to play the Mind Guard next turn. Let's say no matter what. <laughs> Wait for all you have here. It's fake, guys, really. I'm actually completely bald. But maybe streaming earlier is, is better. Yeah. Come on. Don't concede! I have a <laughs> to play the century! Bro, don't do that! Lame. Lame, lame. Five and one. I was definitely ahead. There was nothing you could do there. <laughs> Come on, man. Very lame indeed. Very lame. Um. <sighs> I think having a teleport in our hands 
This many minions is fine. Boop. The official stream time is 2 p.m. Eastern, which is when I started today, and I'm gonna try to stick to that schedule. I do sometimes stream late, though. No, we're definitely not safe against Captain Combustible. In no deck are we safe. So annoying. We're gonna berry blast that now anyway. How is the berry treasure? Um, I mean, we've had some real highlights with it, so... Maybe I can't complain. Teleport, space-time, environment looks really good. If we top deck a bonus attack from this teleport, that would be pretty damn awesome, too. He always has it. It's so stupid. Shaking my head. Where is he moving this? Here? Why? Why, though? You want me to kill your cucumber? I'm very confused. Teleport. We're gonna get the free teleport train. Captain Kimball, we actually got bonus. Captain Combustible does not run a whole lot of environments. I mean, fireweed. I don't know why he just been feel that in there. <laughs> Move into a different lane. You don't have to kill your own card, though. Mine lives, too. I don't get that at all. Quite strange, indeed. We can teleport this in. We might really have a play with the free teleport. I think I'm gonna go for it. Please don't bring Nana me. Gosh, if he bring Nana's me, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, bro. <laughs> and Roy! Teleport. We have two tricksters in the hands. Oh, make it three. Make it three! Alright, this is pretty... Pretty thick. I want this to proc the block, this to hit. <sighs> okay. Okay. Calm down, Fry. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Is this gonna be a YouTube video? I would say for sure it's a YouTube video. Even if we lose every single game. Now, this will definitely be a YouTube video, so yes. Guys, welcome to YouTube. I'd probably just play multiple teleports. Well... Did I play this card? So. Bro! Why you gotta do me like that, bro? Step, bro. We don't have a, a trickster this turn, do we? No. No, we don't. Teleport. <sighs> Bonus looks kind of good. It's five damage. Bonus. Just beam me up. Keep these guys cheap. This doesn't necessarily hit anymore, but... Kind of filling his block meter a lot with that, though. If he Cali rolls me here, man. Okay. So this one costs. I, I'm, I, me, so me being colorblind and it being really small, I have a really hard time seeing these numbers. I think this is seven and this is five, and this is six. Yeah, four tricksters in our hand, boys. I think it's gonna be buried treasure teleport trickster. Looks pretty darn good. Can always trickster on top of the buried treasure, so yeah. So they'll teleport the one that costs six. Yes. And if we get another trick, I'll just play that and adjust. This has got to win. He's not gonna wear 20 damage. He's not gonna like repeat Maw's combo me right now. 
Yeah. You know, we have all four tricksters in our hands. It's fine though. It's not too much. It's actually they're they're getting pretty cheap. So. <sighs> Can you non-colorblind folks actually see how much those costs are? Clearly, for you it's even smaller. For me, at least I have it up on a big screen. You guys are probably watching on your phones. But uh, it's it's five six seven. Oh, I wish they would have made that. <laughs> made it the, adjusted a little bit of a different color. I get blue or something. Colorblind, again, doesn't mean you can't see colors. It means you mix up specific colors if they're like... You, you're, you're just don't differentiate between them as strongly. So then when it's really small prints and... Yeah, green and red are my thing, so it's green and pink. Anyway. Heck yeah. It doesn't really make a very big difference in your life. Just, the only difference it makes is little things like that. Sometimes you'll have two socks, and one of them is black, and the other one is like really dark blue. And like, for me, like I'll look at them and look the same, and I look closer. And I'm like, oh, you're right, that one's blue. Like it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not like I'm seeing the world in black and white. It's not like that. All right, we're six and one. <laughs> Try the whole explanation. Let's weak stuff out of here. That is a fine. Do we keep this? Yeah. Yes! Oh my gosh. Look at this hand. This is not fair, bro. Unfair. I wonder if I should have gone with the raptors in the middle for the shrinking violet. It's kind of smells like a. Uh, well. <sighs> I should probably just play for the raptors. I'll have more options like this now. Classic Jew. <laughs> Why are Jews colorblind? I didn't know that's a thing. I know Jews are like lactose intolerant. Okay, this isn't gonna really make a difference. Man, this looks like this is dangerous. Actually, kind of looks like Citron. If he just plays, you know. A super one of his superpowers combined with a two drop in this line. This is a little bit dangerous. Did I ever buy the glasses that fix colorblindness? That usually helps people a lot more when they're completely colorblind. Some people who cannot see color, they literally look at the world in black and white. I have tried those before. Um, my parents had bought them for my brother who's colorblind, whatever, and they're like, hey, try these glasses on, so try them on. They just made it hard to see. Apparently, maybe if I would wear it for a few days, I'd see a small difference. But I, again, I can really see color. It's just, I don't have, I'm just seeing in like Windows 95, like 256 colors. I'm just, color spectrum. Okay, that, that is definitely worth it. He's running Sporticus, so I guess it's not cycle. It's not a counter trap. Did I say cycle cap before? Oh, we. It's worth it playing. You don't keep it and then play it next turn. We'll, we'll have a much better play. Actually, just got another space time. This is getting a little bit awkward. Uh, this actually costs five now. It's annoying. That's right. I don't want him buffing this card. Let me get that away. These grow. <laughs> Undying Pharaoh, that's pretty good. After he spends all of his removal on these raptors, the Sundying Pharaoh actually becomes OP, so that's really good. We have an environment here. Don't have a bonus. Yeah. Uh, which one do we environment is the question. What would we like to hit? I guess the space time, because we don't want a cheap card here since we're anyway doubly nerfing. We don't want a one cost, so. Um. Does it matter which one? Really? Uh, so this dies. We actually have Thinking Cap bonus attack next turn. We're gonna be fine. We're not getting milled here, are we? You know. Whee! Pretty good with space time, the Conjures. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. These raptors are getting thick. So bonus attack wins in two lanes now. Heck yeah. 
splash. Yeah. So how about undying Pharah bonus attack? You also have a teleport just in case. Should we play around Doom Shroom? Is Doom Shroom is only at, it kind of is. Well, right, we have a teleport in hand. I'm gonna go with this. We don't need the undying. He's not gonna burst me somehow, right? I don't think so. He only has three cards. Admiral and like how many beans would he even have? Bro. Oh, bro. Two sun. <laughs> he didn't even have another minion. The man dead. All right. These games are going slow, but they're very, very fun. Welcome to the new peoples. Watching you at 4.26 a.m. because I'm bored. Where do you live? In uh, Philippines. That's where it's 11, uh, 13 hours ahead. It's 3.27 p.m. It's January 9th, 2021. By the way. What's your opinion on Battle for Neighborville? I just felt it wasn't... I didn't feel like my me playing made a contribution. Most of, most of the modes that were live were like 16 on 16. I just I, I like it more when it's like, you know, three or six people on each team, because then you make a much bigger difference. I like three on each team. I actually like Brawl Stars these days. I should play that more. It's a pretty darn good hand right there. Singapore, cool. <laughs> oh, wee. That's a eight cost trickster right off the bat for this deck, especially if we can pull off this thinking cap. I hope he's not running shrinking, that's so annoying. So he's developing some tempo. A little scary. I want to be ninja. I think I'm going for the ninja play here. Do this guy. Yeah, screw everything. The two for one? The value? Even if he plays a torchwood, it's still two for one. God damn it. They still play Overwatch? Just sometimes. <laughs> he went with torchwood here. Bro! Why you gotta do me like that, bro? God damn it. You know what? If I would have played this here, I actually still would have gotten so much value. I probably should not have been that greedy, huh? I think his win condition right now is aggroing us, so even sacking some beam me ups into this should be okay. I really hope he doesn't kill the space time. I really, really want to think of him. I could have played Teleportation Station here. That's just okay. Actually, Conjure Trickster, which is pretty good. I guess if he plant foods the space time or shrinking violets. Look at this guy, he's got some. Man's got some moves here. Come on, double Z-Mech Super. Beculum is smash. Um. Um. Jeez, these are free too. What do we get rid of here? I think his card advantage is probably the strongest thing. I think this, he's probably going to block either way this turn, so let's just keep space on that. We'll also conjure an extra card here, which is nice. Fine, nice indeed. The Peapod, I mean, Peapod Torchwood is good against HD. We don't like have a great way of removing those. That's a two cost. Dude. That should be fun. We'll play the environment here, it'll at least take out the Torchwood. Two one two looks pretty good. I don't see the three happening this turn. Clock that lane. We're on a little bit of a clock here. So either back air bounce this or play B 
beam me up to the teleportation station here. Can we afford to take six? I'll just replay that next turn anyway. I hope this isn't stupid. I didn't realize he's also blocking. I mean, he can end up doing eight now if he gets him big in. He'll do at least seven. Uh, that was kind of cringe. Hopefully he just gets freeze. Well, no, freeze also grows us. Dang. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm playing this right. Another conjure. So we're taking 7 out of 10 unless we block. Okay. okay. Alright, we'll see what happens, man. I don't know. We might get beat by the peapods. We actually have a teleport, which opens up a lot. We have to not die to bonus here, I think. So... We also have a... a we can empty this hand, right? Three, four, five, six. Trickster will cause zero by then. It's gonna be probably bounce teleport trickster. Bouncy, bouncy. There's no way to win here, is it? This will do six. Six and six does not win. Let's just play safe. This can actually win if you if we roll low. Because this is now 16. Oh boy, roll to one. This game dangerous. If he blocks and gets him big and we lose though. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no. No no. The la oh no. It's a 50 50. Oh no. Wait no. And big and doesn't win. No no no. It doesn't win. It doesn't win. Oh my gosh. This is really really tense though. So his last powers are in big and 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 below. Can I have that trickster back please? God damn it. <laughs> is this turn? No, it's only seven. I don't know why I thought it would be ten by now. Bro. So, since we have Smoke Bomb, I can actually play this here to play around the, the plan food. I think he's just gonna go for the- he need a minion with two attack that costs three or less, plus plan food now. I think we're good! I think we're good! God, I'm good! Damn, that game was a little, a little bit close! See ya! Alright! My heart. All right, so we're eight and one. We've had a couple really close games. <laughs> really. Okay, let's go. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is such a fun stream. <laughs> Guys, I don't have Rona. I promise. How could I promise such a thing? This thing's going. Go. I left my house yesterday. I can't promise anything now. I like the the new COVID chart. It's like ooh, and then there's like ooh a spike, ooh, ooh a spike, and then the last week it's just like boom, like it's just fifty thousand times reported cases, not deaths. By the way, that's good. Heck yeah. I'll keep two teleports with the trickster and have one. Why the hell not? Oh, he could have plant food the, the laser. Whoops. I forgot about the cat. I almost died in real life. Imagine leaving the house. Uh, predictions are, are settled though, so that's definitely a yes already. Congratulations to the 78% of you who voted yes. Wisely indeed. 
think I'm gonna save these. Well, I don't think an env I think an environment is like game losing for him. So I'm gonna actually play that and start double conjuring and that's crazy. What is he gonna play? Uh, Coffee grounds or playing the grapes are the two playable environments. And then this just hits face and grows. They're both really really bad. Do you still fight viewers? Not so much. What is this? Hello. Oh, cause he had, he played one already. God. Oh my God. Dear God. Okay. Could you not kill that, please? I'm just gonna burn a teleport, gain a teleport back, win the trade. You know how it goes. Can backyard bounce with a replays next turn, hit face again. Burn another teleport. We can end up doing a lot of these raptors don't work because he just answers them. Every time I play a raptor, it either gets hit ping plus berry blast or gets shrinking violet. Come on, man. Should I have teleported that one in? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like, why? I can't get a break with the raptors. It seems like such a good card for three costs, but they just get so removed so hard. Gosh, could you not be a thought? Thank you very much. Please give me a good card. Uh, could be worse. I think we need to burn something. Burn something. The fact this is clogged is so annoying too. Aha! <laughs> Not anymore. Get a teleport. That's pretty damn good. Easily. <sighs> These tricksters are gonna be coming in hot. So hot. Aha! No backyard bounce. Get denied. Not, not exactly. Uh, burn a teleport? Hell yeah. Anything we get that's better than this? Go for the thinking cap? I don't think so. We'll get a one cost barrel trick? No. No, there's a minion. There's a one cost. Oh, we can play it! We, we can play it, Rose. Is this smart, though? Probably is. It's like overall smart. I'm like overall smart. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is. Alright, these tricksters are ready to go. We rolled a one, that's nice. At least it's not hurting us. So we got. Hmm, what do we do here? Thinking cap. Trick trick. Teleport trickster. Thinking cap? Trick trick teleport trickster. <laughs> <laughs> into another trickster. Oh my gosh, this guy's dead. He doesn't know. The man doesn't even know. Okay, nice play, bro. He don't know how dead he is. Oh no, he's protected. Oh no. Say, say it ain't so. <laughs> this is gonna be the easiest 18 damage I've ever seen in my goddamn life. In my whole gosh darn life. Give him one of these. I'm glad we didn't get an environment there. That would have completely messed up this play. Well, we could have smoke bombed. Give him one of those. I think we'll give him one of these, because why not? It's a free it's a free teleport. Here's the teleport. Speaking of free teleports. La -dee -da, -dee da Wee! Oh, we rolled a one. We rolled another one. Now, if we roll a one or a two, we automatically win. Yeet. Nice cards. Look at all these legendaries he has, man. It's also good to kill the first one, because he gets up. His cards cost more. Did he really just. Did you like really just do that? Like for real. Oh, another teleport. I think we have to play around dragon and friends. I'm just gonna give him one of these. Yay! We're just go for lethal. Fine. Hit a block. Alright guys. <laughs> that was one of the most fun highlight filled streams. This deck did really well. I think the very treasures were okay. There probably even is a better version of this, but this was so good. The thinking caps were fine. We had thinking cap highlights for years. They were really, really good. Even without the space time, as long as you have Trickster and you're kind of controlling, you're at least stalling with your own tempo in this deck, 
charging the trickster three times like that. I mean, <laughs> so it happened that last game. That was an absolutely fantastic stream. We had a really big crowd here today. We picked it like 350. Heck yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Come on, guys. Peace. This is Fry.